I'm Shannon with Arner Adventures. Um, today, I am going to be making some dish detergent. We're out of dish detergent, and um, we recently did a blog about some of the cleaning supplies that we make ourselves, and we got some messages from people who said they hoped that we would maybe do a video um, the next time that we're making some of it. So I thought, well, while I'm making some today, I would just do a quick video to show you the easy process. So come along with me, would you? So um, if you have been a follower of ours, you know that we do not um, use our dishwasher. We actually hand wash our dishes. There's a whole reason for that. You can go to the blog. Um, we love washing, hand washing our dishes. Um, so this, this recipe is actually for hand washing your dishes. Um, I don't even know what would happen if you put it in your dishwasher, so we're not recommending that. So um, some of the things that you're gonna need are um, either distilled water, if you have that. We don't, so we're gonna boil our water. Um, the reason for that is you want the water to be as crisp, clean as possible. If you just get water out of the faucet, especially here on the coast, our water, well, there's a whole other thing to that. But anyway, um, if you start your out your water not being as crisp and clean as possible, you're already starting out with bacteria in it. So you don't want to start any cleaning products out not as, as fresh as it can be. So if you boil it or have distilled water, you're starting out with a clean slate. So we're going to boil, uh, boil our water first. Um, so we're going to boil two and a half cups, but that's what you're going to need. And then you're going to need um, Castile soap. We use Dr. Bronner's as pure Castile soap. Um, you're going to need uh, vegetable glycerin. Um, and then you're going to also need, my box is cut because it's just easier for me to get inside of it, um, washing soda. We use the Arm & Hammer. Um, sometimes if people have super sensitive skin, you can add um, some aloe gel. Sometimes in the winter, I'll crack just um, our aloe plant and just add the natural aloe into it. We're not going to use that today, um, but this is this is all of the supplies you need. And then I highly recommend wine along the way. So the first thing you're going to do is just go ahead and get two and a half cups in your pot and start boiling it. So we have the boiled water. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in this bowl. Um, super important, which I've made the mistake of not doing before, is not at this point adding the washing soda, so don't skip this step. Um, if you skip this step, um, you're not going to get the grease off of your dishes. So this is the washing soda, and we're going to add three teaspoons. And you want to add it at this point because the water is still hot, and this is where it's going to dissolve, but you have to have the washing soda. It's sort of like um, the degreaser. Um, if you have distilled water you're using, um, you're going to want to heat your water um, since you're not boiling your water. Go ahead and heat it. Um, you can put it in a pot and just heat it up. Anyway, I'm just using a whisk to just go ahead and stir the baking, I mean, the, I'm sorry, the washing soda into the water. So now that that is mixed, it's time for your wine break. You deserve it. <laughs> Okay, so next is um, the Castile soap. Um, we use Dr. Bronner's, but we um, we really like the lavender. You can um, get any one you want. Um, they also have like an orange citrus one, which some people really like for the kitchen. We also use this to make our hand soap, which we'll do next time we make um, hand soap. And so since we really like lavender for the hand soap, we just also use it for this one in here, but you can use any one you want. They also have a plain that you can um, maybe freshen it up with any of um, an essential oil that you want. So anyway, uh, Dr. Bronner's is nice. Castile soap is uh, really great because um, it's a cleaner that um, is natural, um, renewable, biodegradable. It's a really healthy soap. So anyway, for this, you're going to use um, one and a third cup and you're going to mix it in with this. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, and you're just gonna mix it into, and I think I have about this left um, before I get more. Actually, it's exactly what I need. Ah, gotta have that wine here. That could have been a disaster. Just kidding, we would have just changed the recipe. 
Anyway, okay, so we're gonna add that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and whisk that up. It smells so good. And if you read our, read our blog about um, this, and we do a few different blogs about just like um, different activities being sort of like a meditative ritual, washing dishes for us, it might sound silly, but it's sort of like, it's just that, I mean, there are studies that show that hand washing your dishes can sort of be like a meditative thing. And having the lavender just makes it where it's even more like that, I guess. Okay, so then after that's mixed up, you're gonna take the um, vegetable glycerin and we're gonna uh, mix in two teaspoons of that. And it's sort of like a thickener in a way. Um, I'm just gonna have that mixed in. And you can get this um, at any like health food store. Um, you can probably order it. I think I got this before we canceled our Amazon Prime this year. I think I got this on Amazon. Um, it's a organic pharmacy grade of it. And this la will last forever if you're making any kind of cleaners because it, you never have to have a lot of it. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. And this is, this is really it. Um, if you're, if this is the first time you're ever making your own cleaners, it, it does take some getting used to. Um, I learned from Oprah back in the day, for those of you who are old enough to have watched Oprah, um, when she had her own show, um, cleaners and like toothpaste and just different things like that, that have all these bubbles that accumulate detergent, all that. That's all sort of a marketing thing. So you just sort of get used to the fact that you don't have the bubbles. I mean, that's really the part that you're, you're getting used to that you don't have the bubbles that accumulate in your, in your, um, sink water, but it cleans really well. I mean, you don't, you don't need as much. It's just, um, it's just a different consistency and it takes some getting used to, but it, it, it's, it's nice and it's so much better for you. It saves money and you, you just, I don't know, it's just a fulfilling experience that you make it yourself and you're doing something really good for the environment, um, because you don't have to have all of the, um, the materials and you're not constantly, you know, read the blog. I can get into all the one of the really great parts about making your own detergent is that you get to pick the bottle you put it in. So um, you're of course saving plastic and for those of you who may be thinking about the fact that you may have thought I was using plastic for this, Dr. Bronner's bottles are actually um, made of um, vegetable like byproducts. They're biodegradable. Um, they actually can't stay on shelves for too long. Like. Uh, the grocery stores or the stores can't keep them forever because they're biodegradable. So um, this is actually not plastic. So um, you can, if you wanted, you could, and we've done this before, um, you can just pour this right back into here and use this as um, your dishwashing liquid, which we have done, but you could get fancy. Um, you could use any kind of a, a glass jar or glass um, bottle, uh, whatever you want. Um, a lot of you know that I'm a big Post Malone fan and he has his own, um, wine called Maison number no. nine. The bottles are really pretty. So I like to use this glass bottle that has the nice top to it and put our dishwashing detergent in that. <laughs> and then we just use it, but it's so pretty. It sits on the counter and I get to pour it in that. So I'll show you that too. So we've transferred it over. It's in my pretty bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on so I can sit out here. Um, this will probably last us, I don't know, maybe three weeks or so, something like that. Um, people ask us about how much do we use per sink load, I guess. Um, I don't know, probably, I don't know, Jer, maybe a couple of tablespoons or something. I don't know, something like that. But 
Um, you just kind of guesstimate it, but I, again, don't forget that washing soda. That is big importance. Of course, use hot water. It's a, it's a consistency thing. You're just gonna find that, um, you know, it's, it's just it just takes some getting used to, but it still cleans dishes really well. Um, and I think you're gonna be really happy with the fact that you made your own uh, dishwashing detergent. But um, stay tuned, we'll do more videos as we need more product of different things. And um, if you're trying some of, the, um, some of the recipes, let us know how it's going. And uh, cheers to you guys, and cheers to us, dear, we did it. Yes, we did. <laughs> Good luck, everybody, let us know how it's going. Bye.